Okay, now that we've got the machine on the stand, there's a few little things you have to attach to the machine when you get it. One of them is these handles. There's four different places for handles. I've got three of them on. It's just a simple two-piece handle. It's right into place here. And tighten it up with a screwdriver. Oh, by the way, it's awful tempting to set stuff on this table up here all the time or on the bed of the machine. If you do, take care to put something down. You don't want to scratch your machine up here. Okay. Now we've got the handles installed. The next thing we need to do is to mount the arbors into the drill chucks. Now this one I've got mounted already. This one here, what I recommend is take the arbor portion and put it in the freezer for about an hour. That'll shrink it just a little bit. Pull it out, put it in here, give it a good whack with a mallet to lock it into place, and when that temperature equalizes, it's on there good and solid. Now, you might notice this one has a drilled hole in the end. The same arbor is used on our smaller machines and fits up here in the middle, which requires a drawbar. In the granite machine, it only fits in the tailstock. This one fits in the mill. So we give you this little plug. Screw the plug into here like this. That way, when you insert this into the tailstock, when you go to take it out, if you watch closely as I back this up, it pushes itself loose automatically. Without that pin, it's stuck, and you'll have to call me. So don't forget the pin, and that's how you get your arbors together. One last thing, you drop your draw bar down through the top here like that, and there's your cover. You've got your machine assembled. I want to thank you for coming into the Smithy shop and watching this video. I hope it's been educational and informative for you. Keep an eye out for our other videos that will be coming out soon. So this is Dave saying goodbye from the Smithy shop. Until next time.